Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, just like yesterday, we have a bunch of really good tips and tricks to go over for you at Four Engines, and uh, we made it up to Global 191, I think was the high point today, so pretty solid. Um, also, I forgot if I showed you guys this or not, but look at this. I got, from playing Clash Quest, I probably spent, I don't know, I guess it's equivalent to whatever the, the diamonds are worth, but just in case you guys are wondering why I have, God, excuse me, um, a million diamonds right now, 87,000. Um, it's because I got that transfer from uh, Clash Quest, so that was pretty cool. Um, on the Clash with Chicken channel, we're going to be focusing on Clash Mini and Clash Heroes, but that's neither, neither here nor there. Appreciate it, guys, you subscribe to the channel. Also, if you use that code chicken in the shop. All right. So, 19 to 28 is where we sit right now. I don't know where that puts us in the global, probably um, twos somewhere. Somewhere in the twos, the terrible twos. Let's see, scroll, 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 218. So yeah, we were at the top 200 just a little bit earlier, but um, yeah, so going defensive at 4ER, it stops the Seekers, guys. It stops the Seekers. Now, can they still win? Yes, but not all of them. So um, what should we go over first? Let's go over the base first. This is a sick base. Make sure you copy this one. This one is awesome, um, especially, so what you need for this to work, you actually don't need shock mines. I still don't have shock mines yet, and we're stopping seekers, so it's looking good. Now, <clears throat> this base is really good because it has machine guns, flamethrowers, and I also got the defensive building damage today. Um, so, what are the key things when, when we're looking at an anti-seeker uh, layout? Shout out to, uh, to Mr. ABR. He was on call with me earlier, kind of explaining how this works, because he's, you know, doing really, really well with seekers. But basically how it works is... Um, <clears throat> that's always a good sign to see. Basically how it works is you want the Doom Cannon kind of at the back here. Um, because what we need to do when we stop Seekers is we need to stop the Super Warriors too, right? So, <clears throat> my base was a little bit, uh, right now, the way it's set up, it's a little bit easy for the Super Warriors to clear that back engine. So we're actually going to move this Boom Cannon. Sorry, now you should copy it. Um, we're going to move this Boom Cannon there because if we can take out the Super Warriors, the Seekers are going to have a tough time to get through everything. Um, just with the spacing, if you don't have the, the, the right spacing of your buildings and your defenses, you're going to have a tough time with Seekers because they're just going to fly through everything, right? Um, <clears throat> so that's the biggest thing that we're looking at is, is just having enough single target stuff. Um, because for example, he, you throw a Super Warrior back here on this, where this mine is. This Doom Cannon, sure, you can shock it, but then you also have to shock those, and then you have to spend GB on, uh, you know, on smokes and, and shocks and everything else you're using for your Seekers to work. So that's kind of how we want to do it. And it's also really good against Bombers because it drags them all up and around. we got the mine spread out nicely. Um, so yeah, we'll get into the attacks in a second, but I wanted to go over that base stuff because that was definitely very important today. So <clears throat> what are we looking at next? So... Today on the tech tree, we got the DBD. We're pretty well just going full defensive at this point. We don't have rocket launchers yet, but I think they're actually on the radar pretty soon. Um, if we go this way, we can grab, I don't know if we want extra mortars or extra cannons, one of the two, um, and then go rocket launchers. But we want to make sure we have the tokens to make that worthwhile. We're going to sink all those keys back there. Now, <clears throat> we could also go Kavon. He's still right there, ready to go. Um, a massive key sink again, but... I think he's going to be extremely valuable, especially since we're using rifles and bombers. Um, he's going to synergize really, really well with those, obviously. Um, and then as we move forward here, the next most important thing that we have to do right now is we have to get shock mines. That's going to be the next most important. Um, we're going to wait to open this multi-node until we can grab that extra rock launcher and have them at least at tick three or four. Um, and then we're going to go five. So we're going to be four for a little while, but that's going to work out to our benefit because what are the seeker guys doing? They've got a rush to bullet, right? So we have a window here where we can really take advantage of this defensive meta. Um, you know, I'm sure some of them are going to dirty up and, you know, maybe that'll even out, but those battles are going to be 50, 50 in my, in my opinion. Um, you know, as the five ER guys grab more defense and as we grab more defense, um, it's going to be interesting. What I really like about this season is we've been able to take multiple paths and have them both be successful. So you can really cater it towards your own play style, whether, you know, you want to tech ride and rest of seekers, or if you want to base ride a little bit harder, if you're good with bombardiers, then you can go the, the route that I did today. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's where we're at in terms of tech and everything, guys. 
Um, let's just get into some battles here. Let's see what we can do. Now, I should have, ideally right now, I should have the tech to get us to 20. Um, it's, it's just been tough. It's, it's, the attacks are not easy. The attacks are not easy. So that's what we'll do right now. We'll walk through the attack. Um, I'll, I'll just try to, you know, coach you guys through it as I'm talking about it. But yeah, okay, this guy's got rockets. What rank are they? Ooh, I think those are rank four. I think they're rank four. I'm not sure. Um, okay, this is going to be tough. This guy's got everything. Uh, this guy's got everything. So what we do on these ones is we'll, we'll bring a boat of heavies. Okay, and that's our, this was actually my boss fight to 18 was, or sorry, to 19 today was, this is exactly what I did. Um, okay, so we're going to go one, two, three, four. Uh, we're going to flare on that flamethrower. And hopefully, I shouldn't have done that. I, this is a new drop. I haven't seen a, a front loaded base like this yet. Um, I lost more bombers than I would have liked to, but. We should still be somewhat okay. So we're going to sprinkle the riflemen in uh, from here on out. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, we're going to need, what is it, seven or eight? I still don't know off the top of my head <laughs> how many artillery it is. Um, I also dropped it. I did a lot wrong in this attack. So I'm going to go back and watch a replay and, and talk through it. But basically what you want to do is you want to drop the heavies late so they hug that wall. Having the heavies in the, in the mix over here doesn't do anything because the, the rockets are simply just going to shoot at the rifles. And then uh, they'll shoot at the bombers because they'll stand on the edge more. But we still have to artillery one down here. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and use an ice shield like that. Just to help keep some of the bombers alive before the riflemen get up there. Still don't have max med kits, so this attack could not have gone any worse. <laughs> I really butchered this one. Uh, let's see, as the riflemen come up, let's see where they go and how they spread and stuff. Um, actually, I like a critter over there on the left. That looks pretty valuable. Let's see. Maybe we can make something out of this. Oh, man, those rockets. I'm not getting any luck with that, uh, with that targeting. Yeah, so we're going to fizzle. That's my worst attack all day by far. <laughs> I've not fizzled this hard all day. I, I haven't even really fizzled at all today. Okay, okay, okay. Let, uh, let's watch a replay. I'll show you how to actually attack. That, that was ridiculous. <laughs> Of course, shout out to Mr. Yunus, he's always on the streams. Um, oh my god, dude. Okay. Let's show you guys a real attack first, just so I can, you know, talk you through it, how to do it. Uh, this base is obviously a, a lot easier. Um, one rifleman, five bombers, art out the back one. Um, a lot of the attacks still go like this, just if they have rockets, bring in that extra boat of heavies to have that coverage around the corners. Um, and then, you know, delay drop the other rifleman. And from here, we want to be super aggressive. So you see, we're clearing, we're full clearing, we're taking out those engines, and then boom, we're flaring, we're on it. Um, we're using ice shields or med kits, whatever we have, and that's it. That's a wrap. So we probably won't get another rocket launcher base. I doubt it. Anyways, um, it's pretty few and far between. We can still take them down, too. It's just I attacked that one really badly. Um, so if we get another one, I don't mind. All right, so here we go. This guy's got the Doom Cannon. So let's switch back to our 3-5 loadout. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start off by going like this. We're going to go one rifle, one, two, three, four, five doodlers. And I forget if th they should target the mortar, I would think it's closer. Yeah. So we can deal with that sniper tower. That's going to be fine. Um, and we can go, we can work here. We can grab the flamethrower. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Sniper tower is down. I had an attack. Uh, I forget if it was in yesterday's video or just randomly. Um, just recently where uh, one bucket of critters didn't take down a max sniper tower. It was really weird. I don't know what happened, but uh, I don't know. Just be aware of that, I guess. It just put them directly on top of it. Um, all right, all right, all right. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good to hold out here. <clears throat> the Doom Cannons aren't the end of the world. Uh, we do have to watch them, especially if they get on our, on our bombardiers. But with our delay drop rifleman, that should really take care of almost everything. Um, okay, so we're going like this. Now we can throw a little crystal shield in, get a little bit of HP. And the biggest thing right now is don't panic. Don't go crazy and flare right to the next one. Clear the stuff first. Make sure the mines have been walked over. Then we're going to flare it once it makes more sense. Yes, we're still in range of the machine gun. We're still in range of some scary stuff. But um, 
taking that extra one or two seconds of clearing a couple of those splash damage defenses around, that's what nets you the good time. If you rush it too early, I saw a lot of guys do this today. If you rush it too early, you risk fizzling. And if you fizzle, you're gonna lose. So don't fizzle, don't lose. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna crush this guy. He's got shock bombs, he's got critters, and uh, that's exactly how we wanna get it done. Um, you know, I, I think we could push to 20 right now, but honestly, I, I, I don't think the matchmaking is going to be on our side. We're going to be up right around the top 150. So, I mean, we're going to be facing diamond players, which means 5 ER guys that have a lot of defenses now, too. Um, and I think it's just not going to be, uh, you know, super, super beneficial. So, I'm going to wait till we get shock mines, and then we'll make the push for 20, hopefully diamond, maybe get Kavon. Uh, we'll see. Uh, later on, I, I should be streaming later on tonight, actually. That should be a pretty good day for us. Uh, but you see what I mean? This guy flared a little bit too early, and now he risks fizzling. He's going to... He might get through. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it, it's always worth it just to take that extra second. Sorry, Anansi, to put you on blast there. But always worth it to take that extra second and clear and then flare. You know? So I hope that helps you guys out. If you're on the same path, as always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. Catch the next one, guys. Check it out. Bam, bam.